room right here. And so I'm going to try and adjust this pretty close before I look underneath there. So I've got to make it longer. This is the only adjustment right here. See it pull through there? And then what I want to be able to do is so it's about one inch above the lip. And I actually come up underneath it there. With it. So that should be about it. Remember what I told you? On your snug now, not on your tight, okay? Now, just for practical purposes, I'm not going to turn it like I told you, but I am going to blow on that nose and drop that forehead. And I'm going to trigger this six, eight, ten times. Like I say, come here. Like I say, come here. Stop them, then go back, do it again. Now we're going to set the pressure. Pull it down, don't, don't go anymore, hold it. Lock it up. And then the key is this, for the next six, uh, two to three minutes, don't do anything. Just let it finish working. And you'll see that mirror, the eye starting to drop a little more. And in another few seconds or so, that lip's going to come down. And so she's going to be, uh, she'll be ready to go. But you always want to give them that time. It don't matter whether you're going to give them a shot, flip them, or whatever. So, now, if you got a horse that's really kicking bad and you're working on them, like for shoers, I've done a lot of shoeing schools and stuff, you can always go up there and get that again. But if you take it the third time, then after about uh, three or four minutes, then just go ahead and release what you took on them. So on the second one, now, and if you're going to drive them like I do in a round pen and stuff, because they're able to function with it on, you can't do that with a twitch. Then just take your, up underneath of your uh, uh, keeper here, and run it back in through the... This one's the kind of stuff. Keep it up here where it's not going to uh, bother you, you know, or tie it up or something so it's not out there flopping around. Try to try it. Anybody else want to try it? Uh, well, try this side. You can reach over there and get that tea, too. Okay? Yeah. And what, and what are you testing for? Quality of mirror milk, the proteins and stuff. Peggy, what is good? Now that you've got to see the uh, mirror milker work, is it, do you think it's going to be able to be an asset to your program here? It would be a great asset to the program because the we've been milking them by hand and it's so hard to get a sample. And um, the other day it took us 30 minutes on one mare to get the sample. Uh -huh. This will cut both you know down on time and it, it was a lot cleaner than what we were able to get with the these two mares actually. And plus she kicks and so. Well, that's absolutely correct, and as you know, this mare started kicking when we started out, and uh, she's not, it, it, that's the least of her problems right now, and she's just very relaxed, and 
and, and she's in La La Land. Yes. So the stabilizer's done a, it does its job there. And that, like I said, there should be nobody without this thing because for many times you're working alone, you don't need somebody else or you can hook them up and go do your job, you know? Yeah, and we, we have a lot of students that, uh, there's four students that are working on the project. And uh, we've all, you know, we require two to come out at a time, but some, I almost need three without the stabilizer because oh. this, this bear in particular would kick. And uh, and then we have you know students that, that these students know how to handle horses, but we get a lot of students that don't, and this this will help. You know, you've got so many students are coming in here that have never been around. I know at some of the universities and the um, ag ag colleges that I've uh, given clinics at, I'll ask how many of you were raised on a farm. And I might get two or three hands out of forty students. Right. It's their first. It's their first trip to town. And we you know? have a thousand <laughs> students now in the department. Uh huh. And twenty-five percent of them have horse interest, and so many of them. We even have a class now on how to handle horses for students that don't are it, working around horses. But this would be great too, because we have those students clip horses, and and so this the stabilizer will help with multiple classes and the other ease will help with our project here, but also when we, when we uh, fold the mares out and collecting colostrum.